I would say that in the four days that we were locked up at the facility, we probably saw 10,000 people being processed. All of us were like so extremely confident, like we're gonna get this crazy video. But yeah, Andrew and Susan went to jail. So we get there to the Border Patrol facility. They take the shoelaces out of our shoes, give us flip-flops, give me this blue outfit. And we walk in, it kind of looks like a DMV or, or a Department of Licensing, depending on which state you're in. So you know how it is, it's like, you got six computers behind this like citadel type center complex. Everyone's typing away, running people's names and shit. We're just sitting there waiting, you know what I mean? So I go up there, they take my fingerprint, they take a picture of me, they ask me a couple basic questions. What were you doing in Mexico? Um, have you ever been to North Korea? Like, have you ever been to Russia before? Random shit to see if I was like a spy. They were like, and then he was like, all right, cool. Sounds good, we'll talk to you in a second. Behind me, there had to have been, I would say like 200 migrants just staring at me through this glass window. And it was like the weirdest thing I'd ever seen. And most of these dudes are covered in water from the Rio Grande, like bloodshot eyes. I can't even imagine how long they've been on the road for. Like if I wasn't mistaken, like most of them were being processed to be sent home. It wasn't like a put you on a bus, take you to Chicago type of situation. And so I'm looking at, you know, all these dudes in the, in the box as they call it. And I'm like, oh, thank God I'm not going in there. You know, like it's gonna be, gonna be fine. And so they call me back up and they're like, Callahan, you're being brought up for prosecution. And they're like, illegal entry into the United States. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean illegal entry? Like, I'm not an illegal. And, and one of them goes, I know you're not an illegal alien, but you did something an illegal alien would do. You know, I asked the, the dude there, I'm like, all right, let's keep it real. Like, when are we getting out of here? And he's like, probably a couple hours. <laughs> Remember that? And I'm like, all right, should I wait in here? He's like, no, we're gonna have you wait in the box. <laughs> I'm just like, dude, no fucking way. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm like kicking and screaming at this moment. I was like, I'm a fucking American citizen and I have rights. And they were like, you're a detainee. So being a detainee is super weird because you don't have access to traditional jail shit. Like there's no rec time, there's no commissary or like phone calls. So I go into this, this, this box, right? Extremely bright room, probably 20 feet wide, 20 feet long, 20 by 20 room with maybe 60 migrants in there all huddled up next to each other. There's one giant jug of Gatorade in the middle. Uh, they have a tiny TV in there and that movie Marley and Me was playing and there's one sink and one toilet for 50 people. Whew, that did not stop dudes from shitting. Man, I've never smelled gnarlier shits in my life. I walk in and they were like, ¿Por qué estás aquí? And I was like, soy americano. And they were like, americano, y estás aquí, ¿por qué? And so I became like a real golden goose up in that pod. Then all of a sudden, the guards come back about three hours later. They say, everybody except Callahan, get on the bus. <laughs> everybody from the pod fucking leaves. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? I'm trying to get out of here. And they were like, yeah, your case is kind of a weird one and the courts are pretty backed up right now. So we're just gonna have you hang tight, all right? See in a bit. Fucking as soon as all the homies leave, 60 new guys come in. So I'm sitting alone. All these migrants start dumping into the pod. I'm like, fuck. So this nightmare repeats itself over and over again to the point where even the guards realize they're being a little bit too harsh. So they put me and Susan in a solitary confinement cell together. It was the best moment of my life. They were like, Callahan. And I'm like, oh, am I getting out? They were like, you and Susan are going to the hole. We can't have you fraternizing with these illegal aliens. They seem to be taking a real liking to you. And I was like, shit. So they put me and Susan in the cell and it's 62 degrees. When I talked to an immigration related journalist later, they said they refer to these rooms as the ice boxes. How do you say it? Aileras? Aileras. And they purposely make them as cold as possible to like send a message to migrants so when, when they get out and they go back and tell their families or potential people who want to cross, like yo, it's freezing in there. So it's 62 degrees and also like the thing that I didn't even know that fucked me up is no natural light. And I'm not talking about the beer, I'm talking about the sun. Like it fucks with you. I didn't like really understand that I was dependent on the sun like as a human being. Like I never saw the sunlight and I was like, oh fuck, thank God. But when you're just like in a room where the lights never turn off. There's no bed. There's no pillow. There is just the cold, hard ground, a vent blowing out 62 degree air and a little like bench type situation with no mat on it either. And it was horrible, especially because I had no idea how long I'd be in there for. They wouldn't tell me when I'm getting out. I was like, am I getting out tomorrow or the next day?